Now that I'm done painting the boards, I can only paint seven at a time because of limited space. But I wanted to show you guys paint brushes. So this is the two and a half that I was using. And that's a Purdy brush. It's a Pro Extra Glide. And it's for all paints. I use it for stains and paints. What's really great about them is that they clean up so well because they're made really well. And they come in these reusable um, containers, packaged, the way they're packaged. So opening this up, you can see that it folds on itself. And then once you clean it, you just put it right back in the package. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't know how to clean brushes. So once you're done with your, if you're using a latex paint, you want to wash in hot water, hot water only. And then you keep rinsing until it flows clear as water. And that you want to spread the bristles out when you're, um, when you're cleaning it. Because a lot of the paint will end up way up here in the neck. Okay. So when you're using stains, uh, the wood stain like I was using, I take a mason jar or a ball jar or whatever, you can use acetone or low order uh, mineral, mineral spirits to clean your brushes. <clears throat> now I like the acetone when I'm using stains because the mineral spirits doesn't do the deep um, feather clean, like way up here in the bristles, okay? So you put your, put your acetone or mineral spirits in the jar and then what you do is you take your brush say if this was and you just plunge it and swirl and like keep dabbing to clean the bristles off then when you're done doing that then what I like to do is I take a paper towel and I just spread the bristles on the paper towel and make sure that you have all the stain out from in the middle of the bristles <clears throat> and here I have a bunch of different kinds laid out. So like here's a, I think this is a one inch and then a half an inch. These are also pretty brushes. And then you have Master. It's another brand. This is inch and a half, inch. And then this is interior or exterior. These bristles on this, on this paintbrush is really, really fine because what you don't want is these coarser bristles and then when they break off they get they they stay in your um, on your project okay and this is just a cheap this is cheaper this is dollar or something I got it on clearance and then we have this guy right here is also a can be paint or stain I think it was originally a stain brush and I've used it for latex paint and for this this stain as well that I'm using right now and I like the bristles on that now this these end ones these here these are disposable these bristles break off and they're just they're just for one and done project you just use them once and then you just throw them out easy peasy you don't have to they're really hard to like uh, reclean and reuse because they're just made so cheap these horsehair bristles they just come out so yeah I want just wanted to show you guys some types of brushes and what's out there and what to use I know a lot of this is kind of mundane stuff but a lot of people don't know what kind to use so always look on your on the brush it'll say all paints now some will be best results with latex water baked paints and finishes so it'll tell you on there um, what is best to use the brush with this one here all paints so all right guys thanks for watching